Okay, okay, back again. It's painting day. Today is painting. Yeah, that's right. Today I'm going to do some painting. What I normally do on my day off. Hang about, chat Dungeons and Dragons and paint miniatures. Alright, so if you're... Uh, well, that's a sound check. Let's pull this thing out, otherwise I can hear myself as I'm talking and it's not quite in sync. Anyway, um, look, if you're re-watching this video, you'll find the start time if you feel inclined to watch this. Uh, you'll find that down in the description. You'll find the start time when I actually start doing stuff. Um, if you haven't been part of my live stream on a painting day when I do my painting, look, I'm just going to paint and you can chat along with me about Dungeons and Dragons or rules or anything you really like. I don't really care. Um, I'm fine with that as it happens. That's why I do it. And uh, so we'll get started. Hi, welcome to How to d, d My name is Fred Wheeler and today I'm painting miniatures. I've got myself a Dungeons and Dragons miniature. It's a beholder. And so I thought what I would do is I would finally put some paint on it. I made it a long time ago. It's a homemade handcrafted miniature and I've done a video on that if you want to see how I did it um, but yes my plan is to paint this thing and hopefully get a reasonable job out of it I'm not expecting a lot because although I'm getting better at painting I'm not fantastic so painting a behold miniature today and talking Dungeons and Dragons that's the whole purpose of why I'm here right now so let's pull up the screen and get started shall we uh, by all means, look, uh, chat along with me, keep me, um, keep me occupied. Um, I've decided what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use uh, brown. I'm going to use uh, the flat earth colour that I have from Vallejo Paints. I'm going to start with that and then I'm going to use some um, tan earth. And then once I've got that on, I'm going to start sort of picking out the details. Um, I'm going to try to make sure you can see what's going on as I'm painting, but if I do put things out of shot, you need to let me know, okay? If you're wondering why the sound is a bit echoey, it's because I, my head is not pointing at the egg cartons on the wall, which means, as a result, the sound is a little bit funny. There's a little bit of an echo, because I'm in a very tight, small office, and it's not covered in soundproofing. Uh, okay, so I've got my flat brown, and we'll get started. Um, I'm hoping this brush will cover reasonably well, but we'll see. I'm not watering down the paint to begin with, I'm actually just going to um, whack it on fairly thick and then once I've got some paint on it, then I'll go back over it. Uh, Alright, okay. So I was looking at the dragon marks from the Unearthed Arcana. I've been meaning to sort of try and do a video on the topic, but I hadn't, haven't honestly. Um, and I was like, oh, it looks quite cool, I need to sort of cover that at some point. Isn't it funny how um, the Wayfarer's Guide to Eberron was released, they were charging for it, and yet the material in it is now being released, free content basically, that you can access and try out all the mechanical bits and pieces. It is a little bit strange, and then of course there's a whole bunch of people who are th probably thinking who paid the $20 to get the Wayfarer's Guide. Um, I've paid money and people have now got access to this and they didn't have to pay any money because they released it as an unearthed account. It does seem a little bit backward. I think that the release of the Wayfarer's Guide was just a bit too premature. I know why they were doing it. They wanted to be able to release it so that people had that particular supplement as well as um, informing people that Ravnica was on its way. But I think that was uh, that was definitely a botch up on their part. Anna Lee, hello Anna Lee, how are you doing? Are you doing anything interesting today? Are you at work or are you uh, painting miniatures or um, I don't know, gardening? Who knows? I don't know what what people do when they're watching these videos. I really struggle with the concept of sitting down and watching somebody paint miniatures for about an hour. Um, I find that really, really quite bizarre. The only way I could do it is if I was chatting about Dungeons and Dragons, maybe then that makes sense to me. What are you using for your primer base coat? Okay, um, it is fine finish, the grey stuff is fine finish metal primer. Uh, it is 
They're supposed to be for all sorts of different um, uh, surfaces, not just metal. But the the guy at the game, well, not Games Workshop at um, uh, Vagabonds or Livewire in Auckland, the manager Arnold said, "Look, this is the best one. It'll stick. The paint will stick to it." Uh, hence is why I'm, I've sprayed it with that particular stuff. Sorry, I normally tell people what my my primer is. Uh, the base coat, um, the brown that I'm putting on now, that is Vallejo Flat Earth. I think it's called uh, Terra Matte. Terra Matte? Something like that. I just go for the Flat Earth, because that makes a lot more sense to me. What does Terra Earth really mean? Uh, and and I, I sometimes sit and draw on my fantasy maps while I watch and listen. Oh, okay, that's cool. What sort of maps are you working on right now? Dungeons or is it uh, sort of the wilderness, you know, big area maps, things like that? Uh, okay, all right. It's time to get onto the stalks. We'll stalk it. All right, all right. I'll just shift that around a little bit. And just... Uh, just making sure that okay all right so i'm just going to hold it there that's and then i'll be able to hopefully apply the paint easily easily uh, what's that anna i use the time to brush my dogs <laughs> uh, have you got long haired dogs or short haired dogs if you have long haired dogs i do sympathize right now long haired dogs take a long time it's very very time consuming process Yeah, uh, yeah, I did, I did say that, but it's alright, I don't mind repeating myself. It's not like I'm talking about anything else, you're the only one who's actually said anything, so <laughs> it's, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, you're, you're working on world building. Okay, so this is a big overall overarching world map. Cool, nice. Has this world got a name yet, or are you in the process of sort of deciding what that name might be? Hang on, I'm just going to grab this because it's going to get a little bit more difficult to access otherwise. Uh, hang on. Uh, this is what I sound like when I have a brush in my mouth. I'm sure you're all familiar with that by now, particularly if you've sat through my live stream painting before <laughs> ah, dear. you're deming, deming for your girls and you're working on the world for them oh cool that's great i think that's awesome a lot of people don't quite understand that um dungeons and dragons there's a whole generation who play dungeons and dragons and when their their kids grow up and get old enough to be able to play as well they they start playing with them as well and of course kids are like you know all for it they spend all their time play acting anyway so dungeons and dragons just a natural progression <laughs> okay all right so uh it's drying pretty quickly i'm just going to leave it there and grab some more paint this uh ball bearing that i've dropped into the uh the vallejo squeezy paints has really made a big difference in terms of mixing up the paint so i highly recommend doing that just need a drink of water. Uh, now, I'm just going to make sure I don't knock the drink of water off the table, onto the floor, make a horrible mess. Uh, what's up? Yes, it is beginning to seem like more of a job than I had imagined. <laughs> yes. Uh, but it's got to be done, right? I mean... Brushing the dogs is definitely tricky, but even if it is a process, building ma and maps and creating worlds is um, is fun. You know, I I am not deluding myself that I do a lot of work on my channel regarding Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that, but it's still fun. And if it ever didn't become fun, then I probably would stop doing it. But yeah. The reality is, it's still fun. Brushing the dogs, that's a lot harder. <laughs> okay, all right, just get some more paint on there. I know it looks like it's pretty rough, guys. I, I will get a cleaner finish. It's just I need to get the paint on first before I try to get too fancy. 
What's that? And uh, no, I have been collecting up names for the towns, NPCs. Yes, I am old school D and D for sure. Uh, my dad used to sit in with me and my friends and play. Well, that's awesome. A game for the whole family. It, honestly, I think it's one of the best games for the whole family. I don't remember ever playing Monopoly or Snakes and Ladders or any of the other um, traditional games and uh, there not being bad feelings at the end when somebody finally crushed everybody else at the table. <laughs> it was like, that's really what it came down to and like, okay, we, we never pull that board game out again. Uh, well, that's my experience of um, playing games with other people. It's like it was like it was a one-off, and then you're like, okay, now I remember what it was like. I don't want to do it again. Do 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 do. Yes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Long hair all the way. <laughs> oh dear. The vacuuming is always the fun part too. You, you look at your house and you wonder um, do I have little dogs in my house or do I just have a really hairy little monster who seems to shit constantly uh, <laughs> what is it about dog, little dogs and yapping I feel like they're always trying to overcompensate for their lack of size or something I've got I, I have um, had a dog in my house that's why there's a dog door rather than a cat door although the cats use the dog door and it's it's always about trying to find a way to deal with just the, the sheer amount of hair and the constant noise as they they just yap at everything don't quite understand that myself but I think it's trying to make up for the lack of size oh okay you have ordered new brushes for the, the detailing of your minis. I am still getting into it right. But I'll keep trying. Yeah, well, might, all you can do is try, right? I, uh, I think that you will find that if you paint, um, your kids will try to take it up as well. I, I found not all of them, but the ones that are inclined that way will tend to pick it up. I know that my brother did, and he's, he's just fantastic at it makes puts me to shame uh, anyway it's just I know I'm, I've watered down my paint a little bit so that I can now finish off now for those of you who are wondering why I'm not painting it black there's a reason for that because there just really isn't that much detail on the miniature that I would see any point I'm going to use a wash later on instead Obviously not today because the paint will be way too um, wet and it won't be completely hard and the wash will just make a mess. So I have to wait till the paint dries, but that'll be some other day. But that's what I've found anyway, is that if I apply, um, uh, particularly when there isn't a lot of detail, that's the best time to do the wash rather than when there is hardly any. And of course it's an extra layer of paint that I don't have to put on. Oh. It's really watery now. If I made a mistake there, I might have to go back over there. All right, let's just keep going. If I need to change up things, then I will. This is certainly helping. Makes a big difference being able to put the paint on without watering it down and then watering it down because you've got a lot of paint for the, the rest of it to stick to. And I feel like it's working out pretty well. Just get into the eye. I'm, I am going to paint the eye a different color other than brown, if you're wondering. It will happen. Uh, what's that, Anna? Um, I really enjoy making minis and tabletop pieces, uh, but I have difficulty with scale. Yeah. Yeah, well, the girls aren't going to mind. And to be fair, I don't think the scale really matters. It, the only thing I try to steer away from is trying to make uh, humanoids and character miniatures. Monsters are fine. I mean, monsters can be any size you like, right? But the character miniatures are so much more difficult because of scale. I know people have commented a couple of times and asked me if I will do character miniatures and show them how to do that. That's not really me. That's something that my middle brother could manage. Uh, but certainly not me. It's way too hard. Okay, so more paint and water it down again. 
Da -da -da -da. Yes, I bet they do love to paint. It's it's one of those things. The kids are always really creative, eh? What's part of the issue has been um, okay, filling your paints enough. Well, it's always been an issue for me. I always fail to 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 water down things sufficiently sometimes, and it can cause hassles. But it's just practice, right? Because I've thinned my paints down and they get too thin and then when it dries I actually have to repaint again because it didn't coat or cover as well as I had hoped. Um, and it, it will probably happen again today as I'm doing this. There's always something, right? But uh, I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm just going to focus on covering. Covering and then detail. Okay, so let's stroke those stalks that are down there. Kind of feel like... I now wish I had put eyes at the bottom of these. But it just felt like it was going to be so much extra hard work um, that I didn't. But I do feel like it was a mistake not to have done so. Just so that the, they looked like they were doing something. I mean, are, is a beholder supposed to have eye stalks all around it, its body, bottom, top, middle, sides, whatever? I don't know. Um, yeah, it just feels a little. I mean, I know I needed something to support it to lift it up. That was that was a given. Um, so that's why I did it. Okay, so that's made a big difference there. We'll get the paint in here as well. And I have applied it. Oh, gosh, what a big difference it makes to have a variety of sizes of brushes. This is actually vastly easier for me to paint compared to some of the other things I've done. Uh, what's that, Anna? I need to be more um, patient and do layers. Yes, my brother tells me I should be layering my paint rather than painting the way that I do. But he's also got a, um, what is it, a, um, an airbrush. And that's, that's a totally different way of painting com completely. And, and I know he spends hours and hours. I just couldn't do that. I don't have the time. Um, I don't think anybody would want to sit through me um, doing it for hours and hours and hours. Well, I mean, you, you do now. You, you, people sit through an hour of it, but... But I know it would be like 10 times as long. And the airbrush, I know it speeds up his process, but I know he spends a lot of time on detail. I've seen him paint one miniature for days. Sometimes um, the average one would be like uh, all day. That's it. It's his, that's all day on one miniature from the time he started to the time he finished. Cool, blimey. I've got to do other things around the house. And uh, da, 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 da. I also am trying to be, what buy better paints with higher pigmentation. Okay, fair enough. Makes sense. Getting getting good paints is a is a tricky thing because you, you they are it's not cheap. Um, the Vallejo paints are good, but they aren't cheap. I know my brother sources them from a place in China factory or. Um, and he gets them at a ridiculously low price, but he buys in bulk too. And because he's doing so much uh, miniature painting, he doesn't mind. And so he'll he'll load up and use those paints, um, and they'll last him a long time. But he he is he's buying like the little bottle that I have. His bottles are like about ten times as big, and he's paying probably. Uh, only fractionally more for that much paint so that's how it works out for him and the way that he he structures it but also too you've got to wait for them to be shipped from overseas things like that I don't really have the time to wait 
takes long enough to think for things to arrive as it is. I'm still waiting on um, Waters Deep Dragon Heist so I can do a, a flip through and a review of that. Who knows when that'll show up? Who knows if the New Zealand Post will actually manage to get it to my door without dropping it in a puddle, losing it, or just generally damaging it beyond beyond use? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm hoping that I will get it intact. Because I have to get another one, it'll just drive me nuts. Anyway. Uh, da -da 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 -da. My little one here, my little one is here with me now, watching too. The Beholder is very, is her very favourite monster. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I'll have to make sure I do a reasonable job. Um, I'm almost done with the brown. For those of you who are wondering when I would stop painting this thing brown, it's almost done. I will need to leave it to dry a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I will pick up another miniature and we'll paint that as well. And I think we'll go back to the barmaid. Um, I've been wanting to finish the barmaid for ages and the, the flesh colour is really starting to come through now and I feel like I can actually start working on other things once that's done. I think one more layer of that and she's all ready to go. Okay, alright. Just do an overall quick look to make sure I have not missed anything. And is there any paint left on there? Bit hard to tell. Okay, alright, that's, that is coated, alright, cool, good, right, wash out my brush, Charlie, her name's Charlie, oh cool, she says to say yes, you should just glue on more eyes later, okay, alright, I got it, glue on more eyes, <laughs> you've been thinking about getting waters deep, um, it would involve what it would love to see your review I would love to see the book then I can do the review you know how often I go live because you clearly watch and watch my stuff so um, it would be live flip through followed by live no it would be followed by a, a published video that wasn't live um, Okay, I'm, I can, I just put it down and I can see one speck that needs a bit of brown on it so I want to do that now to see this and it's in a location where I know I put down watered paint so I'm going to go a little bit thicker there and I use a very small brush to make sure I get it where I want it and hopefully that works there we go and it's right there and there's a bit there stay still stop moving around Okay, all right. Oh. In the eye. Okay, have I got it? Is it finally coated? There's always another place, right? See, this is the, this is the this is the problem with trying to do everything in one coat and in a live stream where it takes ages to paint anything okay all right give it up Fred move it on move it on shoving it that way let it have a bit of a dry <laughs> uh, hi Darren how's it going I wasn't ignoring you if I, I didn't respond straight away How's the cold? It's um, <laughs> it's waiting for summer. <laughs> I, I, look, I'm getting better, and I'm not quite as croaky, but I wear out really quickly, and therefore, um, yeah, uh, I, it's just one of those things. I'm just gonna have to just wait it out, right? Oh, that brown paint. Actually, maybe I'll just grab this little treasure chest and chuck a bit of this paint. There's not much left on it anyway. It's starting to dry out. It'll come right eventually. Nothing lasts forever, right? Certainly hope not. For me, it just takes a long time sometimes to recover from these things. Um, 
Um, that is that. Come on, you. A couple of quick strokes here and there. And she should be just about done. I want to get on to the barmaid. Let's get the barmaid's flesh done. Oh, gosh. Okay, there. And along the front here. That's good. Well, mostly. I don't know what it is about this particular brush, it splays a lot. And I have applied water to it. Apparently, if you apply a little bit of water to your brush before you put it in the paint, it helps. But it also does water down the paint, so it's sort of like a trade off. Um, okay, and then. Just gonna shift. Do 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 do. There we go. Split the. I've I've been told brown brown when I'm dealing with gold. So I'll I'll put a different brown over there just to help accentuate it. And oh, hang on. I'm just gonna move Mr. Um Beholder into the sun so it dries a little bit faster. It's the front's drying. It's, Give him, give his backside a good, um, good airing. I don't know if you can necessarily what I see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to get in the top of this, but it's not really sort of working that well. Ah, anyway, so much for that. <laughs> uh, we meet. What's that? Uh, we moved to Arizona, to the Pacific Northwest. There's a great difference in dry times for paints and glue. Yeah, yeah. I will be able to paint for a little while, for the next couple of months. And then once summer comes in, the paint will dry uh, really fast. And then, because of the humidity, it won't dry at all, even with the hot weather, because the humidity is like 85 to 90%. And as a result, I will have to shift to going to just making miniatures again. That's just how it is. Now, I don't have a, um, any any way of controlling that. But we've got a couple of months of painting before I have to move back to making uh, miniatures. So I'll enjoy it while I can. Uh, here we go. There she is. I need to get a very small brush for that because she's so difficult to get at. All right, um, we started to, to cool here in Canada, very low temperatures for the season. I don't know what it is about the weather. It, it's constantly changing here in New Zealand. I um, don't know what, what we get. Sometimes it's it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. I know that the seasons have shifted around a lot. Uh, it's not very helpful, but it, it's happened. So Darren, you got full, okay. Anna, I saw this. I hope you don't mind me just calling it Anna rather than Anna Lee. If you prefer Anna Lee, you let me know. I saw this brush repair geo on Green Stuff website for frayed brushes. I have thought about trying it. Oh, okay. Right, okay. This is my little layer brush. And I'm going to use that in a second. And I just need to find the flesh. Where is the flesh? I need to shape this one really, really hard because it does not sort of um, mix well otherwise. It separates a lot. And I really want to get it get it coated and, and done this time around. I don't know how many coats I've done on it. It's quite a few. All right, let's just turn Mr. Beholder. He's drying nicely. Da, 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 da. Right, okay, so that's that's ready to go. Let's get some flesh on there. And squeeze. Ah, oh, good lord. How much paint that I need? Or certainly not that much. It's too late now. Done it. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Ah. Oh. Annalee, New Zealand is one of our dream vis um, visits. Oh, okay. I hear there are many earthquakes though. No, not really. Um, it's not as bad as it sounds. It depends on where you are in the country. It, it's just that the, 
the earthquake in Christchurch uh, attracted the most attention. They do have aftershocks, so that, that can happen. But um, Wellington has more earthquakes, um, probably not as strong, but they probably should. Um, they're, it's not like it's, they're, they're really big. They're like little mini quakes. You probably won't even notice them. Um, Auckland, really, we don't have that much in the way of earthquakes. They're very, very small, the Auckland region, so further north. Uh, and if we ever do have an earthquake that's of a major size, it'll probably also result in, in a volcanic eruption. Um, so you won't need to worry about the earthquake because you'll be dealing with volcanic ash. Um, so yeah, it's not, it's not that it's not like that and if you go south um, really like I said unless you're in in the sort of Christchurch um, Canberra area it's not it's not going to be an issue it's not like the, you'll go there and stay for a couple of weeks or a week and you'll experience a, vol, um, a, you know, a volcanic eruption or a, um, an earthquake it doesn't sort of work that way Okay, just bear with me as I try to get the paint on her arm. I'm trying to get the paint on her arm for so long. It is finally starting to look mostly finished in terms of a, 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 a solid colour. Which of course I'm then going to have to do something else too. Hang on, I just... Uh, oh, I hate it when I have to do details. On my eyes, I go... Look, I'm looking at this arm, trying to see between the the green and her arm, and it, my eyes are just not that strong, not for this fine detail. Anyway, never mind about that. And it's good. Okay, good, excellent. It's a product of New Zealanders being quite lazy when it comes to speech. I don't know if you realise it, but um, most New Zealanders are likely to shorten your name from whatever it is to at least three or four letters so they don't have to actually work as hard with the English language. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible and a bit weird, um, but it's true. Uh, so if you've got a long name, they'll shorten it for sure. Um, and you know if they lengthen your name that they're insulting you um, because usually they wouldn't do that um, so as soon as they start increasing the number of letters on your name you know it's an insult <laughs> I don't know if it's like that in other countries but I know that's what it is here okay just turn the arm, the back of the arm's not too bad, it's actually looking pretty good. It's the in between her dress here, this is where I always struggle trying to get the paint because I just can't get at it easily. So I'm just going to tackle it from that side, try again on this side here. And then I'm going to lift it up. I'm sorry if you can't see what's going on, but I need to be able to see. That's made a big difference. Have I got it all sorted? I am trying to sort of let you guys see what I'm doing, but it's really, really hard. Okay. Yeah, which set is the barmaid from? This is Deep Cuts. This is, um, it's a, it's a WizKids product, but yeah, Deep Cuts is like Pathfinder miniatures. How's it going? Is it Celtic Blued? Celtic Blued? If I've got your name wrong, you'll let me know. Oh man, my real name would be Rhett. Yes, your real name would be Rept. I, I probably um, Rept your pretend name, mate. So.
Well, the good news is, is while I'm fiddling around with the barmaid, that um, the holder miniature is definitely drying. And I think, to be fair, I'm not going to need to do very much with the top part of her because it looks like it's pretty good now. What a relief. How many coats of paint have I done now on here? It's been a few. Um, I'll check the um, chat box in a second. I'm going for the face now, so I need to concentrate. And let's get in here. Okay, all right, we're going to say that's good enough. Celtic. Oh, Celtic blood. All right, okay, I got it. Shorten to A. Ooh, it sounds like a bit much. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, yeah, she, she is tiny. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real effort on my part to get it sorted out. It is tiny, tiny, tiny. All right, so that's that brush done. And we'll put her away. Come back to her some other day. Probably to do something like the apron. And let's grab that beholder. Come here. Come here, you little sucker. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so I've got a little bit of flesh. And while I've got the flesh, I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with some red and then go to the flesh. I really feel like I want to do that. So let's, let's grab some red. Give it a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. Celtic blood. I'll go to go with... How's it going, Celtic? How's that sound? Uh... <laughs> Less work on my part. <laughs> See, I just did it now. I shortened your name. <laughs> uh, yeah, tiny figures. I, I, I used to be able to do them, but I just I, I struggle now. It's a bit more difficult than it used to be. <laughs> okay, so I've got a small brush. I've got some red paint. What am I using? I'm using flat red, which is supposed to be called... Rojo mate, Rojo, 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 Rojo mate, Rojo, something like that. Okay, and red. Come on, red. Here we go. Let's see if I get it in the right place. Um, I was, I was thinking I would go with something like black in here, but I'm, I'm not. I'm going to go red. I'll deal with the teeth later. Because that's how I roll. Because I can't paint in here and then just go straight for the teeth. I have to wait till it dries a little bit. Let's get in here. There, 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 there like that. Okay, so that's a good start. Um, got red there. Alright, so now ditch the red. And we're going to grab this tan earth. I had flat earth, now it's tan earth. It's ter terra oscuro. Terra oscuro. This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this stuff. Whatever the heck it is. It's a lighter tan. Essentially, that's all it is. Nero. I just need a drink of water. Be with me. I'm not finished with it. And you, you, <clears throat> the scale is definitely tiny. Well, I think it's because she's supposed to be small and delicate. I think that's the concept behind it. And also it's the scale. Um, I don't think all of the miniatures are that so, um, size. <laughs> I 
<coughs> long, not ling. Not long ling. Something, okay, came a long way since the little lead <laughs> rail paths. Yeah. Spanish. Could well be Spanish. Um, I don't know any Spanish. I struggle as it is with the English language. And my attempts at trying another language have never been that great. Okay. <laughs> I, I've sh it's, it's coming out, but very slow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Took a little while. Where's my dry brush? I'm going to just get rough and ready with this thing. Because we're into 40 minutes. As always, you want to... The, the majority of the time is just spent putting on a, uh, a solid colour and doing basic painting and all the fine fine details done as a rush at the end. <laughs> uh, it's good to know I'm still consistent. Um, okay. So I think I'm just going to go there to begin with. And here, just to see what the brush is doing. Since I'm probably going to be painting more on there than anywhere else. And now we'll tackle there. Good. Yep, 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 The big juju lips. Big jujus. Around the eyes. With any luck, it'll pick up some of the high, highest regions of the miniature rather than the lowest regions of the miniature. Right. Okay. Good. Good. I feel like that worked reasonably well as a start. I'll get in there with a smaller brush a little bit later. And flip that over. English is a harsh, it is a, it is a difficult language. Oh, it is so confusing. I've always found it really, really confusing. Nothing, none of the rules stay the same. There's exceptions to everything. It's like, oh, God, blimey. Anyway, got to be done. Got to know some, some language, right? Otherwise, what am I going to do? Just grunt at people. Okay, so that's got most of that covered. And now I think what I'm going to do is I'm just, hopefully there's just a little bit of paint on there and I'll just brush lightly over the whole thing. Probably going to go over those little bits and make them stand out a little bit more, but we'll do that later. Bearing in mind that this is all fairly rough paint work, you know, I will do a wash later. It's not going to happen today. The paint is just too soft to make that work. Okay, good. A bit more paint. Um, Brush that off again, and we'll go with the the higher areas just like I did before, and just focus on them, and that'll get some of the paint off, and then I can go down the eye stalks, and the little bulby bits. I don't know if it's the second most common there. Oh, no, no. English is the most common language in New Zealand. Um, although it depends on where you are. Because, because although you're supposed to be able to speak English when you come to New Zealand, um, they have some really stupid rules with regard to how it works. It's also very inconsistent. So it doesn't really make an awful lot of sense sometimes. Um, hence why some people seem to be able to get into the country and speak um, English um, fluently and others uh, 
have no idea what the heck they're saying. Um, so yes, I don't think our government thought that out very well, but it, it does happen that way. It's kind of interesting, you know, when you think about it, is it, when you think about Dungeons and Dragons and the language common, um, are there different versions of common throughout the world? I, I imagine there probably is um, a variety of different languages right throughout any world, Dungeons and Dragons world, where common is not, you know, they're all speaking common, but there's sort of different variations in terms of the pronunciation, accent. Um, <clears throat> okay. It's a very, very light application here. I'm, I'm going to just do that again. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on the lips here. Get a lighter colour there. And then I will broaden out and go elsewhere. There we go. Okay. Eye stalk focusing. Focus, 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 focus. That's, that's a lot of paint there. Whoops. I'm sure that the wash will, will um, even things out. <laughs> he says hoping. Really. I've got no idea. It, it, it should. <laughs> okay. strokes there just to see what's going on with the paint yep 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 that's good that's not too bad I'm happy with that we'll just keep going and then brush along there and there and it has got to be it's got to be one of those um, it's got to be pretty hard to actually paint miniatures professionally you think about those the people that are painting the miniatures for whiz kids I don't imagine they get paid very much, and I also imagine that um, it's actually probably pretty hard, particularly since you're on a production line and you've got to pump it out so quickly, you can't really take your time, and it's all about um, speed and precision and getting it roughly right, and then some miniatures are going to have a, a better job done. So you'd need to have people who have got a very sort of fine motor control, right? That's what I would imagine. <coughs> I'm sorry if I haven't been paying attention to the uh, the chat. I'm just um, you guys seem to be chatting amongst yourselves, and and I'm trying to get paint onto this as quickly as I can. When I shift over to another paint, I have a look at the chat box, eh? Okay, good, 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 good. That's working out all right. I feel like that's not too bad. And okay, I think that is good enough. I will just chuck it a little bit down here just to break it up so it doesn't look too solid there. Okay, cool, right. <clears throat> now, don't put it in the water, Fred. <laughs> Almost did it. Almost. Don't do that. All right, smaller brush. Still working with a brown, but I'm going to target certain areas with more paint that's this color. Okay, so... Where I want to go, I want to go along here and just pick out the areas that seem like they should have it more of it. Um, I 
right upside down in between the, the little stalks well I can tell you now that getting in between there is super hard and being able to do it so that it looks good nah that didn't that was that was a fail because <laughs> it certainly didn't okay and Okay, all right. Good enough. Let's look that up. <clears throat> all right, so thanks. Learning Klingon. You guys have been talking about Klingon. Aaron, you did miss the, the barmaid. I did I did a bit of paint work on here. Yeah. While I'm having a drink of water. See? More flesh. There's enough flesh on there I can move on to a different colour now. So that's how long it's taken to get the flesh colour built up. Cool. Okay, so now um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to did uh, my matte earth I've done my tan my tan color my tan earth I really want to go with I think actually it's white next although what I think I will do is I'm gonna hit this thing with some flesh I know that sounds weird but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with some flesh around here just make sure that paints not not too thick it's been drying up and we're going to hit it just around here now my intention is to go over here with white but I feel like if I put flesh in there first it's going to make a big difference course it'd be good if I could control the paint it's more a matter of me controlling my um, my my hands not the paint Gee. all right okay and let's move I think it's time to move to the smaller brush maybe that'll help uh, no nah. no I'll just get a little with it I'll deal with it clean it up later okay so now in the mouth I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the flesh color as well not the whole thing going around the outside edges Now, can I brush this off sufficiently? No, that's not enough. Let's brush off a bit more. And a bit more. Okay, all right. Let's do the same thing. Uh, this brush is too 
too difficult with that. That puts the lotion on the miniature. No, no. I'm getting scary now. And I just ordered what the baby beastry. There are some great monsters in there. Oh, okay. A baby beholder. I, it was hard enough to make this thing. A tiny one, like, how do I get at it? It'd be impossible. Yeah, the teeth are red at present. They are going to be a different color. It's not that I want the teeth to be red. I want the inside to have a bit of redness to it. That's what it was all about. It had nothing to do with making the teeth red. It's actually, they're going to be white later. Um, I don't think that uh, a, a beholder would spend a lot of its time eating everybody. Uh, I suppose it's possible, but... Okay, so... Here's the tricky bit. It's just getting around here. Okay, so pardon me if I don't talk an awful lot. I'm now on to the tricky bits. When it gets tricky, I've got to focus, control the brush. Okay, good. Now I'm not using flesh over the whole thing because I don't need to. Trust me, this is, this looks easy, but it ain't. Ho! Well, so much for talking about Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, you guys are talking about Dungeons and Dragons, which is good news. Me, I'm going to concentrate. Oh, gosh. Come on. Hand, stay still. There we go. Alright, need to clean up the brush, it's getting a bit too hard. You know how it is, paint dries on there. Okay, cool, let's do that again. can't see it from that angle. I know you guys can't see what's going on when I turn it this way, but but I can. <laughs> it's, it's kind of vital that I be able to see what's going on, so. There we go. All right, got that on. Paint is drying very fast now. <whistles> what's that? A wizard blade slinger. Is that unusual? Or a character minute. I don't have no idea. I think um, what you s sling blades, magical slinging blades, magical singing blades. That's more of a bard, right? Reminds me of Kung Fu Hustle, where uh, the the there's got some assassins who use music and musical instruments to kill their victims. Very, very weird, <laughs> but uh, interesting.
Okay, that has got the flesh where I wanted it. I'm going to clean off. And we're moving on to the next step, which I think is uh, white. Pretty sure I'm hitting it with the white. So, um, drink of water. Uh, more water. Right, give it a shake. An onion eating cat. Who's got an onion? I've missed a whole lot of the conversation here. I can see it's gone off and on a tangent that I could not possibly have imagined. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what are you, Aaron and Anna, talking about exactly there? <laughs> now I want to scroll back and see what Darren's been up to. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Let's go with the um, deafen them with um, with opera. To be fair, I think there's a place for opera. Um, maybe not in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, maybe not for you, but for somebody. I think the biggest problem is it's all in Latin. So unless you understand Latin, it's not going to be something you kind of make sense to you. Hang on, I've got to clean that dry brush. That dry brush is just going to go hard otherwise. And it's... It is... Okay, I'm going to have to clean it off. I'll come back to it later. Deal with it later. Okay, so... Where was I? What is dry? The big eye. Let's go for the big eye. We'll start with the white. I don't have to paint all the way to the edge because that's what the uh, the flesh was all about. And it's not watery enough, so more water. And paint on a thin layer of white. I've actually got to do a shoot a video for some miniatures today as it happens once I finish doing this. Somebody sent me some stuff in the mail. From, where was it? Where did they send it from? The Mini Miniature Factory. I think they do 3D printing plans or something like that. And uh, yeah, I said I would do a review on their, their product. They sent it to me. Okay, so we'll start with that. Clean off the brush, deal with the next eye. I will tackle the teeth. That will happen. The cat breathes onion breath on you and you um, disintegrate. It's like acid breath. Yes. Or maybe it's poison breath. So what we need is a giant pussy cat that breathes onion breath. There's your new monster. Okay, all right now. I think the trick of this is to get the white mostly in the center. But not right in the, the, the center center, if you know what I mean. I'm glad you guys are keeping yourselves entertained there. That's good news. Okay. Almost got that eyeball whitened up. All it takes is just a slight movement of your hand and you're in the wrong place.
Okay, we'll clean out that brush. Three more eyeballs to go. And we're into, oh, we're, uh, we're running late as usual. I mean, I'm going to have to come back to the beholder at some point anyway, but let's get the majority of it done. It would be nice to be able to get to a point where I could just do the wash next time or, I don't know, finer details if there needs to be. There we go. Cool. Having to brace my my hand as it wobbled around on the table. <laughs> no, not working. Let's try that again. Okay, that's another eyeball. So, does this beholder need to have red eyes, blue eyes, different coloured eyes? Start thinking about that, because it's, it's something I'm going to have to deal with. We do the, the white of the eye, and then we do the coloured part of the eye. Is this eye, um, these eyes going to be red, blue, brown seems a bit boring, green eyes maybe, yellow eyes. Glowing green eyes. I don't know that I can paint with glowing green eyes. I just don't have any glowing paint. Oh, all right. Okay, let's get that brush out of there. It's probably mostly all right now. <laughs> I'll tidy it up later. Okay. Uh, Violet eyes. Um, I got some purple. Yep, could do that. Purple eyes. Violet eyes. What colour is the big central eye going to be? That is the question. It's a big question too. There we go, that's another eye down. With white, that is, with white. You vote mo multicolour. I vote multicolour too. I think multicolour is a good idea, Aaron. Let us go with multicoloured. Because I have blue eyes, I think the central eye should be blue. Makes no sense, I know. I'm just being playing favourites. Oh, come on you, just, just, come on hand, stay still. Okay, and a little bit more white. Come on, baby. There 
and a little bit more. Hey, um, let me know. Has the uh, have the live streams improved in quality in terms of lag and stuff like that? With the um, the internet uh, going from VDSL to fiber, I really would be interested for people to let me know if they've noticed an improvement. Because if they have, that is good news. Um, right now, I've been listening to Pink, Eric Clapton, Katie Tunstall. Uh, the Eagles, uh, Moby, um, what else, uh, the Bangles, um, what's this? Lucas Graham, um, uh, yeah, a lot of different things, nothing that sort of stands out as being like super exciting I would imagine to people. I'm all, I'm all over the place. The Credence Clearwater Revival, uh, the Steve Miller Band. All right, let's get a little bit of paint on these teeth. Like so. And a little bit more. It's one tooth there. I'm just gonna get at it. I'm all over the place. I can view in high resolution now now, Fred. Less lag also. Hey Darren, hey, thank you for that. Anna, what's that? There has only been one noticeable lag that I noticed. Okay, all right, good. Oh, MBD, My Brother's Dungeon. I'm at work watching in um, 480, so I haven't noticed a difference here. I think I'm running it um, significantly higher than that, so so it should be, should be fine. 40,000 subs with no videos. Hi, how's it going? I hate to think if you actually do have that many subscribers and no videos. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, um, if you can't see what I'm doing right now, it's because I'm trying to get at the teeth. And my eyes are just about ready to give up on me. I'm, I'm, I'm going sort of, what would you call it, cross-eyed looking at this thing. Yeah, definitely cross-eyed. Okay. I need to get my brother in here and sort out the sound because if I can just get the sound sorted out, I feel like that will just make a huge improvement to um, just the quality. It's It's been a real um, process. One, explaining to people how to play Dungeons and Dragons, and you have no idea how um, terrifying it is to do rules on Dungeons and Dragons for Dungeons and Dragons 5e and pre-record them. That's because I always know if I get anything wrong, somebody's going to jump on me. But doing it live stream like I did the other day, which I said I would do, and I have done before, that is even more nerve-wracking. And I, it, it's always going to be full of mistakes because I spend a lot of time going through and making sure that my pre-recorded stuff doesn't have errors in it. Um, certainly when I'm able to. Okay. All right, I got that far. Ha! <laughs> I'm not a joker. I'm just, I'm just mucking around. 40,000 subs, what do you got here? With no videos. Uh, hey, what do you say on this? I don't have any friends to play D&D. What now? Um, jump on Facebook, man. And uh, go from there. If, if you don't have any friends whatsoever, 
then you need to go out and do stuff with people. It's the only thing I can think of. That's my solution, is go and join a club. I joined clubs, all sorts of things. What I, I went kayaking, I joined um, gaming clubs. Um, I just took myself out and did things with people. That's how you meet people to do that sort of thing. You will find people online, you just got to look. There's so many different access points now. And if you're looking for people to play with Dungeons and Dragons, I've got a video on it somewhere. I'm sure of it. I'm sure I've done one. There's probably a gazillion of them on YouTube. Steve Miliband? Yes, 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 yes. I'm a, I know what you're... Yeah. The Joker. It's one of his songs, I realise. Ah la 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 la. I have friends, but no one likes d, &D. Um, They like sports. Yeah, but it's a different type of friends. Not all of the friends that I have like sports. Not all the friends that I have like Dungeons and Dragons. Um, you just have to have a mix. And your own, only way to do that is to do different things with different people. Your friends can't be involved in absolutely everything that you do. Sometimes they're going to be involved with things you don't really do very often. That's just my suggestion. Online D&D sites, there's a whole bunch of them. You can't paint without a magnifying glass? Well, I need one. Man, I, my, I, the problem is my eyes go a bit funny when I, I use a magnified um, lens, whether it be glasses or anything like that. Um, so Caltech's got the right idea. Online D&D &D sites. Seems like there's a program you can randomly jump into a game like uh, Roll20 or something. Well, you can, you know, you can't jump, randomly jump in, but you can sign up to Roll20 games and um, Fantasy Ground games and a whole bunch of other ones. Um, people use Google Hangouts. Um, yeah, I've hearing, I'm hearing slightly different um, feedback on Roll20, but I, I think in terms of the fact that you know you can still access it uh, for free. Uh, pretty much it seems like a good idea there are some dramas as Darren points out with Roll20 right now there are a few people who are a little bit upset I used Facebook how to life with Fred yeah <laughs> you're welcome 40,000 subs not a not a problem um, yeah look go and check out um, who is it Dawnforge cast, he's done a video on it, and there's a few others as well. Anyway, look, I'm going to come back. I'm, I, I just feel like if I try to do too much, it's already getting kind of late, and I need to go and have some food. Um, I know this hasn't got us very far, but I will come dip back, and we'll do this next week, and we'll continue on the beholder, um, at least until I get the paint for my... Um, hopefully by then I will have the paint for the, the, the purple worm, and I can crack into that and we can start finishing that off as well uh, and what's that trying to go to the cl closest comic book store yes and ask people there absolutely lots of different options there is a video just type in um, where to find players for Dungeons and Dragons and you'll have a whole lot of videos pop up that's my suggestion to you anyway okay look I'm gonna head off guys um, and you guys have a good day, good night, good afternoon, whatever. Thanks for showing up. Work on your own projects, and I will see you next time for another video. Uh, tomorrow, uh, what's tomorrow? I believe tomorrow is... I can't remember what tomorrow is. Oh, that's right, a published video, because I'll be playing Dungeons & Dragons, hopefully. Uh, so yeah. You can expect a video, probably the Curse of Strahd review. I've been waiting to do it for a long time. I've been putting it off. I've stopped putting it off now. <laughs> uh, so that'll pop up if you want to check that out. So if you like this video, please share and like the video. But you don't have to. Uh, if you like uh, the fact that somebody has decided to live stream while they're painting, uh, then please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button to be notified when I go live. And you can check me out doing this sort of thing. Uh, not particularly well necessarily but at least you get to chat and watch me try to paint miniatures and sometimes make them um, 
if you want to support my channel you supported me by sitting through this very long ass video right now and well done if you've managed to get to the very end of it or at least even part way through it I have many other videos that are unrelated to this and related to painting miniatures as well um, so you can check those out if you want to in my playlists I don't do Patreon, but down in the description you'll find affiliate links to the book depository in Amazon, where you can buy stuff online if you're inclined to do that sort of thing. And I get a small commission, you pay exactly the same price, and you don't even have to buy the thing that I've linked to, just go through the link and then buy whatever you want to buy. And that's pretty much it. And so it's been great chatting with everybody in the chat box on the live stream. Otherwise, you, you're welcome to um, put your feedback down in the comment section, because that's what it's all about. Okay, and I really love the fact that you guys have um, spent this time getting to know each other, uh, which is really, really nice. And it's not just about me, it's about you guys um, hanging out together and just talking, talking whatever. What's that, Anna? I did enjoy it. New Zealand rocks. See what I did there. Yes, you did. You did very nice. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing it again. Okay, awesome. Well, New Zealand's not going anywhere right now as far as I can tell. Um, but hey, you guys have a good day and till next time, keep rolling those 20s.